Welcome again to Peppermint Wednesday. My name is Peter Roper. I'm the family businessman, and this is my weekly video blog uh, where I share some ideas and some thoughts or answers to questions I've been asked over the last few weeks. Today, the question I've been asked is how do I present myself within a family business? A previous uh, Peppermint Wednesday, I talked about how you present the business, if you like, as a family business. This is different. It's how do you present yourself within a family business, which at first might seem a bit strange, but you know, I'm asked this regularly, actually, which is, okay, you've got a family business, you're proud of it, you, uh, as a family business as a whole, it's working very, very well, you, you know, you've got the message across, etc. But as an individual, it can be challenging, and it can be challenging in probably two different ways. The first way is the age-old challenge of, well, if I've got to stand up and speak and present, I don't really like doing that. It is, after all, measured by many as the number one fear in terms of business, speaking in public. And I'm very biased about that. You can find lots of good freebie stuff about that on the website. Uh, check it all out. Uh, you know, obviously, I've been speaking for many years. I'm biased. I've helped many people to stand up and speak and present. But it goes on one stage farther than that. Not only is you going to get past that fear and become a natural presenter, as I would say, in other words, just being yourself talking like I am now, but also you've got that extra relationship about talking about your family. And we understand that, absolutely. People find it strange at times where my elder daughter, Sarah Beth, will be talking to somebody in the business and she'll say, Peter. And you can see him looking at times thinking, well, isn't it dad? She should be saying dad. And she'll say, well, is this a professional footing? This is Peter. You know, when we're out, I'm dad. When we're in a professional footing, it's Peter. There's no difference. But in the eyes of the people you're talking to, it makes total sense. The thing that makes less sense sometimes is to the individual themselves. They have to get past it. Sarah Beth got past it many, many years ago. So did the rest of the family in a business setting. It's about understanding the fact that there is a business life and there is a family life that they do interconnect, but sometimes you have to move them around a bit to suit the people you're with. At the end of the day, it's about them that matters in that situation. So you have to get comfortable with how you present the family and the business in a business setting. Once you've got that, it never goes away, frankly. It's very simple and very straightforward. You can just be yourself. And as I've always said in all these things, when you're speaking, presenting anything, just be yourself. And actually, to just be yourself is probably not hard, is it? You don't have to try and be somebody else. Just be yourself. So what do you do to present your business when it's a family business and present yourself? Just be you. It's that simple. So that's it. Get on social. Let's check this out. Send me some information. Send me an email. I'll always answer it personally. And let's talk about how you present yourself within your family business to your clients, your prospects, etc. This has been Peppermint Wednesday. I am Peter Roper, the family businessman. And as ever, if I can help you in any way, just let me know. Thanks for listening. <laughs>